Hey guys, this is John the Hedgehog here, back with an episode of Kingdom Hearts 1. Last time, we uh, defeated the behemoth. Now we're going to go into Lipith Coliseum. Um, now that we've sealed Kilo and uh, Paul Bastion, we get access to the Hades Cup. Now, this cup is particularly cool in the fact that you start out at fi it's 50, 50 waves of enemies, and each five. Sorry, each 10, I believe, uh, waves, you get to say, like, basically it'll save your progress. So, this is probably a multi-parter, because trust me, all the things that you get here are all incredibly useful. Also, you might have noticed, I changed my key blade off the screen, I changed it to Lady Luck because, well, in this juncture, it's probably better just to have more magic than having anything else. Especially later on when you wonder the time trials. Time trials are going to be happening. So, yeah. Fortunately for us, though, this is, we're not getting time for this, and this is kind of actually easy. So, yeah. Not weird. Actually, we actually almost have all the keyblades. We're only missing two. One of them being in this, uh, in the Hades Cup. Uh, which I don't think is too far away. But it might be. If it's not in this episode, it's going to be in the next episode. So, stay tuned for that. And then, of course, the last keyblade we get is the ultimate weapon, which is the, the strongest keyblade for Sora. And Best keyblade overall. Overall. So yeah. I'll go for as long as I can. And, uh, depending on how far we get, that's where I'll end it. And then the next episode, I'll continue where we left off. But like I said, this, this cup is, is very long, so, yeah, it's 50, it's 50 waves, so, yeah. Let me take out the, uh, the legs right here, and do the opposite of I this is the opposite armor. And of course you can reflect it and hit the uh, tech tool. As you saw, we also have a level up over here. I forgot to mention that. Also, this is a great place to level, by the way. In my opinion, the Hades Cup is the greatest area in the game to pack if you want to max out the characters. And in fact, I might do it off screen. I'll probably max out my characters here. That way, uh, you know, we get the best amount of survivability possible and the ultimate fight, because, I mean, the game isn't too hard, but it can get pretty challenging if you don't have the necessary tools, you know? <laughs> So, uh, not really much to say, really, just our fighting here. Um, while, we're, while we have this time to talk, I do want to say this. I've been enjoying this game so far. I really have. It's, this is, like, one of my favorite games. But, um, I know we're coming to an end pretty soon with this game. I do want to ask, what do you want me to play next? Because before... Before I, you know, usually before I make a decision on what Let's Play I want to do, I always make a uh, video as to what, asking y'all what, what y'all want me to play, because I want to play something that y'all would enjoy. Ooh, hey, Yuffie, here we go. This is our first boss here, the actual boss. Of course, you can also, def you can deflect her, uh, her ninja stars back here for tech points, which is really, 
uh, actually recommend it for them because they'll stun her every time you deflect her or spin her back at her. Also, arrow is nice. Uh, I want to say every whenever you fight a boss, that's when the safe thing happens. I don't remember. If that's the if that's the case, oh you gotta be kidding me. Come on, man. Of course she has a freaking deal with stuff. That, that attack is kind of hard enough, so if you comment uh, this way, you can actually carry that attack. Let's talk this out. Ah, dang it. Let's talk this out. Come on, man. This is probably the only downside of, uh... I'm doing it this way. There's a, uh, you know, if you exchange of power, I get more magic. Actually, no, I'm kind of, uh, I'm kind of regretting my decision right now because this is a big pain in the ass right now. Took a bit too long, but that's okay. Hey, uh, like I said, if we if we hit time and we don't get to where we want to go, uh, I will I will get back the next episode where we will work. So, and probably next episode I might actually just switch back to. Uh, to either Divine Rose or Oblivion or Oathkeeper because as much as I like the extra, um, the extra whatever, the, um, you know, the extra magic, I think I'd rather go for more power here. But oh well. <laughs> Yeah, and that UV fights it for Nothing to it. Ever. What about playing card right there? This one might be a bit longer because I do when I get to, uh, you know. I do believe if you, if you die here, or like you die in the, uh, in the Hades Cup, you don't actually go game over, you just lose to the uh, challenge. Which is a good thing, because you don't really like game overs. And... Oh. Never mind, I thought this was the last seat. I was sadly mistaken. Like I said, but, uh... With arrow, with arrow, it makes your attacks a lot faster, so it is recommended to 
uh, cast this on yourself with Dawn as you ready. So, yeah. I believe it also can do more things too, which is always useful. I just, I just noticed too, I don't think we get summons here. Ooh, MP man. Oh, damn, jackpot. Nice. Nothing to it. Alright, here's here's a boss, I believe. First one is Behemoth. The guy we just fought like not too long ago. Like last episode even. Yep. Called it. It is Behemoth. There we go. Let's uh let's go get this guy. Like I said, this guy is honestly pretty easy. You just gotta keep track of all of his uh, attacks, really. Like, if you can stay on top of him, this is really the way to go here. Why am I getting a call right now? Hang on, one sec, guys. Hey, uh, Dark Wolf, I'm in the middle of a recording right now. Hold on, I'm gonna mute and dip him. Also, you might notice I'm recovering magic a lot quicker now because I have MP Rage on Sora, which gives me uh, every time we have MP Haste and MP Rage, which uh, not only increases my MP gain back whenever I, you know, while I'm attacking, but it also increases the speed of which it recovers. So a lot of MP recovery. Ah, damn. Okay. That's fine. You don't know. I can get that. Get there next time. Until then, please like. Sh uh, that'll be it for this episode. So if you like this video, please like, share, and subscribe. Leave a comment on the screen. Hit the notification bell for some more awesome content.